We're back guys. Babe is going to mix up this manner of nastiness. I'm assuming it's nasty. Um, for my colonoscopy oh, in the morning. This is the size of the container. A gallon, right? I'm assuming that's a gallon. Yeah. Yes, please. Hopefully it tastes Better? Decent? Set me. What is this? What is this? Why you didn't get us home? You just dirty up the thing? It was already dirty when I mixed it up before you put it back. You should have added a little bit of some great value on it. I don't think you can do that, babe. Those onions smell so good. I need to go ahead and put them in the freezer as soon as these eggs get done. I think I can pick the eggs up. Okay, they are done. Mmm. I'm going to wash it for one more time. Are you washing right now? What are you washing right now? Babe, it's the shaker. Anything I need open, shook it. Shaking. That's what baby's for. for you what happened? Did you open something for me? Oh, I'm so sorry, y'all. I don't know why I got a drink. You need some more shirts? <coughs> oh, I guess I need some. There she go, show me. Did you get a drink, actually? Is it? Oh. All done. That's it? Did it shake up? Babe. Where? Did it shake up so Where? It's right there. The you, you keep moving it around. It's right there. The eggs are frozen. I don't know this thing ain't bad. This is not why I thought it was Y'all don't do good with nasty stuff. Smell, what's that? Lemon. Like, um, uh, like lemon, I guess. Maybe it's like unsweet lemonade. But, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it's like lemon with a hint of medication. I don't know. <laughs> it's like lemon water. It smells like a lemon head. Yeah, lemon head. Let me get a shot. Let me, let me take Stephanie's advice and get a straw. Cause I, well, once I drink this half, then I gotta put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? No, no, keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop, man. You gotta keep going. That is, that is Don't freaking disgusting. Oh my god. This is pure. Like I just want to vomit already. Keep going. You better man up. I just, I just. Keep going, man. Need to man up. Take it to the head. Hurry up. This ain't it. Mm -mm. And I gotta drink seven more of these. Oh. In 15 minutes, don't you? Yeah. The mom has to drink that every 15 minutes. Did it say I have to put it in something? Mm -mm. I don't know, some orange juice or something? Dang, orange juice ain't clear. Let me see that paperwork. I need to see if I can. Mm -mm. That's what I was saying. You put some of the other lemonade in there. The great value lemonade packet. Mm -mm. 
This ain't it. It tastes thick. Like it tastes like, it kind of tastes like Evian. Evian kind of got, not tastes like Evian, but Evian water to me has like this thick, the water tastes thick. It's just, mm-mm. That, um, Stephon's next to the orange juice tastes better. I'm so good. I'm gonna be so good. I'm not a gulper. Mm, do I have any soda left? Mm -mm, this ain't it. I should have just told him, no, I don't even want this. Ain't nothing in there? Oh, no, honey. Let me give me another one. This ain't gonna fly. Mm -mm. You can't some water or something? Mm -mm. This tastes, mm -mm. I'd rather drink toilet water. That's nice. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh, let me set the timer. Oh, good job, Alright. Fifteen minutes, guys. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Stop playing with the kid, man. Stop playing with the kid. My big time, y'all sad. Let me tell you. Oh, so, uh. <laughs> is has had his five minutes of showing y'all his, uh. His, his guns, his hard work. The grind. The grind, all stuff. That's amazing. We're done. Put the other half in the refrigerator. This ain't gonna be long because the way my, mm-mm. Lord, I hope this ain't gonna be an all night process, Jesus. <laughs> I can't, let me not laugh. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the morning, I got to go. We'll try this. I'll see y'all at four o'clock, because I gotta go. The bathroom's calling. I ain't even turn the camera off. Good morning. Y'all saw me at 421 this morning. It's five, four minutes after nine. I just pulled up here. The procedure, the colonoscopy is at seven. There's babe. Say good morning. Good morning. <laughs> we parked on the side because somebody was parking oh, back. Am I going to be able to go in there? I don't, I think so. I don't know if you'll be able to sit in there though. They may tell you you have to come back out here. But we're about to go in here and see what's what's what. So, yeah. Talk to you guys later. All right, guys. So that was amazing. Was it? That was the best twenty minutes of sleep I didn't ever had in my life. I'm ready to go home and take a real nap, though. Yeah, I'm ready. Look at that. I feel high as a kite. That lady said, where you wanna go? What's your dream vacation? I said, girl, I wanna go to Jamaica, honey. She's like, and she pushing the medication. She said, after they stuck me three times, I am a hard stick, y'all. Which is really annoying when you have to get procedures done. It's really annoying because, yeah, IV needles, for those who know, IV needles are 20, 22 gauge 
needles. Typically, if you go to the emergency room, they are a 22 gauge needle. She not letting you out here. So, they end up having a stigma with a 22 because my veins are small and they roll, which I usually have to forewarn people and tell them where to stick me. Um, but yeah, so I had an LPN stick me twice in my in the bend of my arm, and then um, I had a nurse named Kay stick me where she stuck me in my wrist. Oh, I don't mind getting stuck, but the wrist on top of the bone area sucks absolute butt cheeks so yeah like right oh my little bandage came off you can't see it but right in here is where she stuck me at then the anesthesiologist which is also well the anesthetic she is a crna which is a certified registered nurse uh of anesthesia she was um, a little rough, but she stuck me and she stuck good. You have those people that are uh, jabbers. I call them jabbers and stabbers. Um, that they, um, yeah. Jabbers and stabbers. She did good though. She got it. It was a little sketchy there for a minute. But we got that done, 20 minutes. They didn't find anything, everything was good. So I drank all that matter, that gallon of nastiness for them to find absolutely nothing. But my colon and my intestines, large and small, have never been so clean ever in life. When I tell you I was pooping nothing, y'all, TMI. But I was pooping nothing. That was amazing. I ain't never not pooped nothing a day in my life. She said, oh, you need to do your next one at 45. I gotta do this trash again before 50? So she told me I can get back to my regular diet, you know, avoid greasy foods, and that's all I remember she saying. Greasy foods and something else and something else and something else. And I do remember she said, I can't cook today. <laughs> Amazing. That's amazing. I can't cook today, babe. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else? I think that oh, they gave me a pamphlet for hemorrhoids. That's TMI. I got a hemorrhoid, babe. She told me. She told you? Oh, you just go straight, yeah. Um, yeah. I got hemorrhoids. They ain't external hemorrhoids, so they on the inside. I guess that's why I don't know. And then I was trying to help the girl take the tape off my arm. She said, okay, I'm about to pull your IV. I said, okay. So, started to take the tape off. Um, anybody working in healthcare automatically know you are horrible patients. Healthcare workers are horrible patients. I was like, well, child, I was just trying to help you out. <laughs> I was just trying to help her out. Because, you know, it was like the IV tape that they put around. And then it was like four pieces of tape that she had put on there. I was just trying to help her out and help me out. So my skin don't get ripped off. Or any little baby hairs. But everything went well. They didn't find anything. Thank you, God. Babe, you hot? I'm hot. I just turned it. Oh. Ain't it fine, nothing. But I low key feel like I've been smoking weed, but it wasn't weed, but it was like legal drugs, which it is legal drugs, you know what I mean? When she pushed the medication, she told me, um, think about your feet going in the sand. Before I can tell her, sweetheart, I don't like sand because I don't like my feet getting dirty. <laughs> I was out of there, okay? That's all I remember. I was out like a light. She pushed the medication. I felt it all over. 
That's all I remember saying, ooh, that's amazing. And I was gone. That was it, 20 minutes, y'all. 20 minutes. They said the procedure would be 20 minutes and then um, 20 minutes in recovery. I didn't even have to spend 20 minutes in recovery. I felt just fine. When I tell you it's like a production line in there, they get you in and out. So, yeah. I'm not doing absolutely nothing for the rest of the day. I had already tell, I had already tell, I had already tell the hubby that um, I wanted Panera. So, you taking me to Panera, right, Brett? Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Oh, and then they make you pass gas before you get out of there. You gotta pass gas. If you don't pass gas, you gotta stay a little longer. Child, when they woke me up, still in the room, I passed gas. <laughs> that was the best gas ever. You ever pass gas? And it was like, ooh, man, that was amazing. That's what that was, man. That was amazing. And then I think I passed gas two or three times after that. That was amazing, too. <laughs> but nonetheless, um, that was it. I probably will insert the one picture that I took before I got my clothes on because they made me put my stuff in a locker and then uh, use the bathroom. It is the longest part, honestly. The longest part was me getting stuck because my veins are small and they roll, which is a pain in the behind. But yeah. But that was it, y'all. About to go home and um, we're about to go to Panera and grab a soup and salad. And I'm about to go get in my bed for the remainder of the day. They said, do not drive, don't sign important documents. Don't be cleaning, don't cook, don't bend over. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Probably call my mama in a minute. Cause I know she, uh, I didn't talk to her this morning. But probably call her in a minute, see what she doing with her life. Mm -mm, don't do it, don't do it babe. Don't do it, babe. Babe. I love you, babe. I love you, you the best husband I got. <laughs> and the only one. Because we are not, um, what is it? We're not um, in a plural relationship. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, I'm just rambling about absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, so that was my colonoscopy experience. That was it. Yeah, I don't think I have nothing else to say. All right, talk to y'all later.